All right, guys. So today we're going to be talking about lapidolite. And lapidolite is one of these stones where me personally, I use it probably at least twice a week. And you'll completely understand why when I get to that in a minute. So lapidolite, this is a, a pretty good representation of it. And I have a bunch of different specimens here, which I could show you. So lapidolite is like a purple, purplish, a light purple and a silver combination. And in a lot of the other specimens, it's really eye popping. This one, it's not amazing. It's beautiful, but it's not going to be like, whoa, look at that. But I'll show you some ones that'll definitely make your eyes pop out of your head. So lapidolite is commonly referred to as the grandmother stone. And the reason for the grandmother stone, and let me, while I'm talking to you here, I'll show you this one. This is a, a raw point. And you could see, this is a very light purple, but you could see all the silver flecks, the little flakes, I guess you'd call them in there, the little speckles. And in person, it's even more beautiful, just shimmering. Um, but you could see, lapidolite's like a purplish, very light purple. But um, it's commonly referred to as the grandmother stone. And the reason for that is, it's almost like you have to imagine going over your grandma's house, your grammy ma's house, and you had a rough day. You had a rough day at work. You're stressed out. You're, you're just, you're irritated. Your mind is shot. And I know you've all had those type of days because during, with my day job, uh, it commonly happens to me. By the time I come home, you just, you're, you're kind of just mentally shut down. And you need something just to kind of get all that funk off you, to get all that negative energy. And it's easy to attract all that and let that negative energy just accumulate all during the day. And some days you just can't help it if you don't break away from it. It's just going to collect on you. And it's very difficult to break away from that. And that's what kind of puts you in that downhill, bad mood bad vibes, all that kind of stuff. And stress, anxiety, all that kind of stuff aids in it. It just bogs you down throughout the day. So by the time you come home, it's like going over to your grandma's house and walking up to your grandma and just giving her, she gives you this big hug, the big grandma hug. And, and you know what? It's like immediately your day is better. Your grandma has that nurturing motherly just energy about her where she can make everything better crack out some food crack out some <laughs> of her cinnamon rolls whatever the case may be and you're feeling better suddenly the stressors of the day they're gone as you sit back and you're 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 hanging out with your grandma um this is what lapidolite does lapidolite is the grandmother stone for a reason. It has those nurturing, calming metaphysical properties associated with it. And those are perfect when you had that crappy, rotten day where you just come home and you're just kind of shot, mentally shot. And I use this guy the most. And again, it might not look the most amazing, but this is my go-to. I keep this on a shelf, uh, it, almost in one of the first rooms when I walk in my house, grab the old lapidolite stone. And the cool thing is you don't have to like grab the lapidolite stone and enter like a deep meditative trance and do all kinds of crazy stuff. You could just hold this. You could just kind of relax with it, shut your eyes, just kind of zone out and, and focus on the, the crystal, just holding it is often enough and the cool part is it kind of just puts a wave of it's it's a it's a very calming energy but it also has a little bit of a punch to it in a way but it's a very it's hard to explain but it's not going to overwhelm you like you know fill you with crazy energy or anything like that but it's going to kind of dissolve 
and chip away all that garbage you have accumulated all throughout the day. And it might not be instantaneous, but you grab this stone, you relax for it on the couch, whatever the case may be, zone out, watch TV, whatever your method is to, to currently relax after a horrible day, incorporate lipidolite. And it'll be 10 times easier to get all that crud off you, that negative funk. And you're going to feel better. It, it really is amazing what it does for the energy body. And it works with mostly the higher third eye. I, I would stop. I would say it's more of a third eye chakra stimulator. Um, more of the higher chakras. But this works with just clearing your entire energy body clearing all the sludge clearing all the crap you could wave it around kind of uh around your head chest feet whatever the, the case may be just holding it in your hand should be enough you could put it on your third eye chakra you, you could clear anxiety but the cool part about it is you don't have to do anything too crazy with this stone sometimes a lot of stones to connect to them it, you kind of have to not enter a deep meditative state or anything like that, but you have to work more with intent. This stone, you don't really have to do that. And that's kind of the cool part about Lipidolite. It's an easy go-to to just bust up all that stagnant energy and all that crap that's clogging you up, get rid of it. And it helps. So Lipidolite is also, it's a it's an encouraging stone. It, it, it pre- kind of gives you a sense of calm, and a sense of tranquility when there's times in your life where you're overwhelmed. Whether it be work, whether it be stressors of whatever you're going through, this will help. It really does. And again, I could say it over and over and over and over. The main thing it does is just bust up all that garbage off you and just get rid of it. Just get rid of it. It's, it's the perfect grandmother stone. Um, the other stuff I've, uh, mainly I use Lipidolite for that specific reason. And I don't go crazy trying to do anything with it in terms of, uh, you know, developing any crazy, uh, psychic powers or anything like that, because it is related to a third eye, the third eye chakra. But the thing is I've never personally, and everybody has their own experiences, One crystal might do a little something different than it does for somebody else, but it's never really overwhelmed my third eye chakra in terms of causing any crazy lucid dreams or doing anything. Part of what I do with all the crystals, when I try to connect with them, I'll do them passively, which is you're just kind of holding it and letting the energy kind of soak into your energy body um, using intent is another way and also sleeping with them is another perfect way and a lot of energy will soak into your body overnight into your energy body and some of them help you sleep this that the other thing i haven't really got any great benefits of with lipidolite i have put it on my third eye chakra and entered meditative states and i have seen bursts of cool colors and stuff like that but it hasn't really done anything past that like um so i can't really contribute anything else crazy that it's doing in terms of that kind of stuff but it's a very easy to work with stone great kind of uh, in terms of like a beginner type of stone because you could use it passively and passively is mean you just hold it and it's going to soak its energies its vibration it's just going to soak into your energy body it's got a pretty good kick to it but nothing overwhelming and Again, it's going to break up that stagnation, all that garbage. And that's what you want it to do. So let me show you a couple others. That's the gist of it there. This one, look at this guy. This is a beautiful specimen of lipidolite. You can see the just the silver and the purple. This is polished on the top and just raw formation all around on this point. Oh my, and it's just, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I do want to mention, I do sell a lot of these crystals. I sell all types of crystals in my Etsy shop. Um, 
I think actually this specific one I do have for sale actually, but um, I have a bunch of these type of points and whatever else. But just letting you know, I do have um, commonly sell lots of different specimens and stuff, and my I'll put the link in the description below, and I, it's also on the top of my banner. You could click on the little link on the banner of my YouTube page, and it will take you directly there too. Um, but look at the colors and everything on that. Just deep, beautiful. If This one's a combination of all types of deep purples, uh, light purples, and just that silver that just meshes everything perfectly together. Now, let's see here. I'm going to get to this one. This is another nice specimen I have. This is uh, all polished, and it is another beautiful representation of lipidolite. And I love the colors. Just gorgeous, gorgeous specimen. And again, easy to work with lipidolite. And now this one, I'm going to have to take two hands because it's a little heavy. Oh, man, that's heavy. Look at this whopper. And this is how lipidolite looks kind of in the raw stage. Look at this thing. I mean, I'm actually struggling a little bit to hold this up. I got to put my, my hands, uh, my elbows on the table. This thing is a monster. It's got to be a five, six, seven pounds, maybe more. And look at this thing. Even on the bottom, it's just gorgeous. And hopefully the camera's picking up everything on it. Look at this. Even the back of it is beautiful. Um, now, again, you don't need a massive specimen like this to work with. All you need is um, a tumbled stone, a piece of it, whatever the case may be. But something like this I just wanted to show you because it is in my collection. And I'm proud of it. Look at this thing. Whoo! I love it. Awesome. And that's what it looks like. Imagine digging this sucker out of the ground. Wow. So that's what we have with Lipidolite. Um, we're going to be talking, I'm going to be talking about all types of crystals. Um, but this is one, and I could talk about crystals all day. Seriously. I really could. But um, definitely keep watching. I'm going to start posting. Uh, I'm going to try. Not going to try. I'm going to do. I'm going to post tons and tons of videos on all different types of specimens. And not just your amethysts and your uh, quartz and your common stuff. I'm going to do everything. Everything. And I'm going to list all their metaphysical properties. Um, how to work with them. I'm going to list other videos on uh, how to connect with crystals. How to cleanse crystals. Um, lipidolite, I will say in my point of view... A lot of times when you work with crystals, you should cleanse them. Lipidolite, I don't really necessarily get into cleansing it frequently. People use all different types of, types of stuff to cleanse crystals, but I wouldn't really worry about that with lipidolite. Um, other videos I'm going to make on how to cleanse your crystals, all different types of techniques, and also how to charge them. Um, again, lipidolite, you don't really need to charge this crystal. It's not the type that you would need to charge. But I'm going to get into all that stuff with, with you guys. And I'm going to... Everything that I've done, I've done this for a long time. And I have been into crystals my entire life. So any kind of knowledge, anything that I know, I'm going to pass on. And I'm going to pass it along. And you could ask me any kind of questions, whatever, in the comments. But I'm going to leave it there. And... Uh, this is Lipidolite. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous stone. All right. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you next time.